All right, so it's finally time for me to get back to past grudges. I always forget when there is an update and it could take months, but currently on my mind, so I'm gonna do my clears from 16 to 20. Yeah, that's pretty much it. So let's go and do full clear 16. All right, since we have switched up our main teams, we're not using 80s for this. You know, we're using our good old Jinwoo team. This should be rather interesting. They are a lot more versatile, just like, see that nice pull just now? That was excellent. Honestly, not a big fan of these mobs because the instantaneous attacks can be a bit hard to like dodge. Like, only characters which are really, really good for dealing with them, I would say, is character with zero time. So, yeah. Now, this team is obviously easier than Hades' team because most of the time it's just positioning and button spamming. Which is not a bad thing. You do get your challenges where they should be. Ah, come on over there. Ancient mud pipes. Very easy to deal with. Newer mods are just a lot more aggressive. The older mods were like, very like, okay, that thing. I am totally not a fan of this boss. Simply because of the machine gunning that it actually does, can be such a pain. If there was any character in the game who actually attacked with a machine gun, like you would use a real machine gun in real life, they would be completely broken. A shifting world with fixed principles. Huh. Oh, we can get. Yeah, we got it. Admit defeat. Take down. Yin and Yang, the start of everything. I think I need a, maybe another two months before I can actually get the fragments to get Jin Wu to um, Triple S. It's gonna be interesting, actually. I'm actually very interesting in how she performed that triple S. I mean, consider she's actually so easy to use. Purple glow? What could you guys possibly do? I have no idea. Regardless, just group them up. And we'll AoE farm them. It's like playing an MMO. Like, Jenkins just groups them up. And you just AoE farm these things down. Okay, what's going on? Didn't pull that one? Honestly, this team is just so good. So, gonna try to get them like 
to line up with each other. So when she throws her one, both of them will actually get damaged. Oh, he's so far away, though. Seriously? Ah! Open up to me and end the chaos. Steady. Now. Oh, nope. This is a universe's blessing. Leave it to me. There. Opportunity strikes. Universe, open up to me and end the chaos. <laughs> That's actually funny. All right, that's it. That was six. To say, though, is that like in all games ranges are overpowered right if i was playing a melee it would have been a lot harder but when you're being a range you can have and make a lot more decisions in how you actually want to take on an enemy while when you're a melee you're just in their face and you better be quick there's not much thinking you need to do there's a lot of quick respawn, but at range, as you can see, I pretty much line them up in each other. And it turns out the robot died first because hit was taking all the hits from my normal, right? And my one sweep was just going straight through it. So it was taking a lot of damage. So they pretty much died in a very short period behind each other. Regardless, this was pretty fun. A bit easier than I expected it to be, but it was fun, it was interesting. So I'm actually looking forward to the other four. Let's see how those turns out. Anyways, that's it for me. I will see you guys in another one.